Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're going to look at how to deploy your application. So you already built your .NET MAUI application. Now you want to package it and deploy it or even package it and just test it around. In this case, we're going to use a self-signed certificate. So this would just be kind of for testing it within your company. And then the only difference from this is if you want to release it to the world for side loading, you would just have to buy a code signing certificate from a trusted certificate authority and everything else stays the same. You just change the certificate. First thing we have to do is go into our package dot app x manifest and this is under the windows under platforms under windows and in here we just have to make sure that our publisher will match the name of our certificate in this case we're creating the certificate so we just have to make sure that we copy this and put it but if you're using a code signing certificate make sure that the publisher matches exactly the subject name of the certificate after that we have this script don't worry this is all in my github that is linked down below so just go there if you want to just copy it but as you can see here i set a variable for the certificate subject names so that one matches exactly the name on the publisher on the app manifest and then after that we're just gonna go ahead and create a self-signed certificate with the subject name that we specified then we're just gonna call it coding flamingo self-sign so i'm just gonna go ahead and run this and this will actually create it so as you can see here it's gonna be in current user my so in here is personal certificates and if in here i go coding flamingo we'll see the one that we just created and as you can see, it has a big X around it. That means that the computer currently doesn't trust it because it's a certificate that is not in the trusted root source certificates. So what we have to do is copy this to a file, export it, make sure you don't export the private key. Usually private keys should be protected either with an HSM or something if it's like a real certificate. In this case, just protected by your search store and not exporting it and having it all over the place. And then we're just gonna select a file. Here we're just gonna call it Coding Flamingo or coding and we're gonna save it. Next thing we have to do is add it to the trusted root certificate, but I've noticed that it didn't work and if I just add it to my personal one, so you have to add it to the local machine. You have to have administrator permission for that. And in here we go to the trusted root certificates. We're gonna just do an import. We're gonna select the certificate that we just exported now it's here. So if we go back up here, you can see that big X is gone. So now we're ready to build. Next thing we have to do is just get the cert thumbprint to pass it to our build environment. And basically what we're doing is just saying, find the one that has our subject name and give me the thumbprint. And that's just kind of like a serial number of the certificate. After that, we just have to add the environment path to Visual Studio and the signing kit. And lastly, we're just gonna build it. And here you can see I'm in the file where the solution is. So everything is just gonna be local, but if not, you would have to put like the full path or something or just navigate there. We're gonna do a MS build with restore and we're gonna publish for Windows. We're doing a configuration for release, generate the Apex package, true, signing enabled true. And then it asks for the certificate thumbprint. That's why we got it up here. After that, we just run this. And as you can see here at the bottom, it's going kind of crazy. And now it's going ahead, building the solution and signing it. And now that it finished building, we can go into the files and here's where the solution is. Go to bin, release, windows, app packages, Maui. And here we can see the certificate that was used for signing and we can see the MSIX. And all we have to do next is just click install. And this is gonna go ahead, install it and launch it. And that's how you package your Maui application to run on Windows. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.